During the second day of testimony in the Pamela Moss trial, the state laid out what it says happened the day a Henry County businessman was killed and what Moss allegedly did to cover up that crime. And 41 NBC's Amanda Castro joins us live from outside the Jones County Courthouse with the latest. Andrew, Ashley, it's been a long day of testimony and court isn't even over yet. The defendant, Pamela Moss, waived her right to sit in in the courtroom during the proceedings. Now, today, jurors listened to Bibb and Jones County investigators who said that, excuse me, we got the courthouse, the uh, clock, the um, gong is going off. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, as I was saying, jurors listened to Bibb and Jones County investigators who said they found the body of Douglas Coker under the porch at Moss's home and it was covered with a tarp, roof shingles and lime. Now they testified inside her living room. They found a large blood stain covered with paint and a tarp in an attempt to cover it up. And it, uh, the state showed photos from Cocker's, uh, excuse me, Coker's autopsy, and a GBI medical examiner said he died from blunt force head trauma. The state claims Moss hit him in the head with a hammer multiple times. There's also listened to a recorded interview between Moss and Henry County police officers, who said she was the last person to see Coker alive, and she was charged. Excuse me, and she changed her story about the day he went missing several times. Now, it's in interesting to note the state has called about 21 witnesses to the stand, and the defense attorney, Frank Hogue, has yet to object to any evidence, object to any um, testimony, and he hasn't even cross-examined any of the witnesses that have been called so far. Now, he is expected to raise an insanity defense, claiming that Moss su suffers from dissociative identity disorder also known as multiple personality disorder, claiming that she was uh, had it was, it was an alter ego that killed Coker. Now the state called several neighbors this afternoon and acquaintances who spoke to Moss after the alleged murder happened, who said she sounded just like herself. She was just Pam and sounded completely normal. Now I will be in the courtroom all week long tweeting live updates throughout the day. You can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Amanda N. Castro and you can always check out our website 41NBC.com for the latest. But for now reporting in Jones County, Amanda Castro, 41 NBC News.